Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy, and it's time for some math. Today, we're doing lesson 9.5, counting forward from any number to 20. Today's work will include three things. The first thing is review. On your Canvas page, you should have already practiced the Counting to 10 song with Jack Hartman, and you should have already done your 10 minutes of math seeds. Then in a little bit, we will review our numbers. Number two, there will be a mini lesson. That's with me in the video. In number three, you have an assignment on Seesaw. Seesaw. Let's get started with our review. To review reading our numbers, we're gonna play a game called, What's That Number? When I show you the number, I'm going to count down from three, two, and then one, and ask you, what's that number? It's your job to be able to know the number by the time I get to zero. You ready? Here's the first one. Tell me the number in three, two, one. What's that number? If you said 15, go ahead and give me a high five. Three, two, one. Good job. Here's your next one. Three, two, one. What's that number? If you said 19, give me a high five. Great job. Here's the next one. Three, two, one. What's that number? If you said 11, give me another high five. Here we go. Three, two, one. What's that number? If you said 20, give me a high five. Great job. Here's the next one. Three, two, one. What's that number? If you said 13, here's another high five. All right, here comes the next one. Three, two, one. What's that number? You should have said 16. If you got it, give me a high five. All right, now it's time to go on to our mini lesson. Today, you're going to learn to use a number line to count forward from any number up to 20. So repeat after me. I can use a number line to count forward from any number up to 20. Let's try it all together. Ready? I can use a number line to count forward from any number up to 20. Now you have already learned it is so important to know how to count to 20. There's just so many things to count. But before we start talking about counting from any number, I need to tell you why that is so important. Counting forward from any number can help make your counting quicker. Mathematicians love having little shortcuts to make their counting quicker. Don't you? All right, let's get started with some counting. So to count forward with a number line, you need a number line like this. This number line starts at the number one and ends at the number 20. Number lines are made up of something that we call rows. Can you say that word with me? Ready? Rows. A row is made up of numbers that are side by side going from left to right. Can you take your finger and swipe the top row? You should have started at the number one and swiped all the way to the number 10. Now, can you swipe the bottom row? You should have started at the number 11 and swiped all the way to the number 20. This number line has two rows. Now, I'm gonna show you how I can count on from the number eight to get to the number 13. I use the green circle to show where I'm starting and the red circle to show where I am stopping. So for this problem, the first thing I need to know is what number I'm counting forward from. That's the number in the green circle, the number eight. Then I need to know what number I'm counting to. That's the number 13 in the red circle. 
As I count the numbers, I'm going to write them at the bottom of the number line to help keep track. Watch me. Eight, nine, ten. All right, I made it to the end of my number line. I need to know where to go next. When you get to the end of a row, it's just like when you're reading. You return sweep, so go down to the next row, but back at the beginning. Listen as I keep counting. 11, 12, 13. I made it all the way up to 13. I didn't even need to count all 13 numbers because I started at the number eight. That was faster. All right, now it's your turn to help me. I need you to help me count from the number five up to the number 12. Before we start counting, can you tell me what number are we going to count forward from? If you said five, kiss your brain. You're right, the one in the green circle is our starting number. Now, what number are we going to count to? If you said 12, you're right again, kiss your brain. All right, this time I want you to count with me. I'll go ahead and put the numbers at the bottom as we count. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh-oh, I ran out of numbers in that row. Take your finger and put it where you think I need to go next. If you moved your finger down to this number 11, you're right. We return sweep. We go down to the next line and back at the beginning. Let's keep counting. Ready? 11, 12. We made it. We counted up to 12, starting at the number five. Great job. Did we have to count all the numbers to 12? You're right, we did not have to count all 12 numbers. We started at five. How did that help us? You got that right, it is quicker. Boy, do I like shortcuts. All right, boys and girls, now it's your turn to get some practice with this. You have an assignment waiting for you on Seesaw. On Seesaw, you'll get to show me that you can count on from any number up to 20. Then later in our small groups, we'll get a little bit more practice. All right, friends, thanks for learning with me today. I will see you later. Bye, everybody.